Hey guys, welcome back to another video, and we are Sister Books. My name is Jess, and my name is Kirsty, and we are doing a um. I don't know. <laughs> oh, it's just going blank. Um, we are answering some book-related questions. I didn't even know we were doing this. It just surprised me. Okay, give me two seconds to get up the questions. One, we can start. two. Oh, you know what I mean. <laughs> Look, guys, my hair's actually straight for once. <gasps> uh. right, guys. Okay, so we seem to be in a slightly different position. <laughs> a bit Look, the chair's right there. there. I moved the chair so we can sit okay, down. Okay, so first question. <laughs> what are you currently reading? Butterfly Club. Uh, I'm currently reading Obsidian by Jennifer L. Armandrout. I want to do the next one. What's your bad book habit? My bad book habit? Reading while I'm walking. Literally every day, um, if I walk through town, instead of like through these fields, from school to home, when I get onto the main road where my primary school is, because we live down that road, I will get out my book and read all the way down. And it takes me ten minutes to walk down there. So I'm just reading down the road for ten minutes. My bad book habit, let me see. Um, let me pause while I think. I get distracted very easily from reading and then I don't really finish the book. I just pick up another one. Alright. If I get distracted from reading then I just don't, like... I just don't want to pick it up again, even if I'm really interested in it. I suppose you've just got to try work yourself back into it, sort of thing. Okay, question three. What do you currently have checked out from the library? Those were children, two. There I've go. got first three books in the Luxuries, Obsidian, Onyx and Opal. Onyx Cause and I liked your face then. I liked your face then. On. Yeah. I liked your face in it, it was a good face. <laughs> yeah, Onyx and Opal are on the bookshelf. So. Okay, so next one is... Favourite book you've read this year? Look, what have I read this year? Oh my god. Tricky. We'll be... See you guys in a second after this has turned around. Okay, Kelsey, have you decided? Uh, I can't decide my favourite book but one of my favourites has to be The School for Good and Evil by Saman Chainani um, uh, sorry if I pronounced it wrong look, uh, I can't be bothered don't, to read it Percy, don't worry, I think they know what it is <laughs> yeah, you've probably seen us mention it yeah, it's called The Christmas Book Hall yeah like my favourite one I've read is actually tied with two but um, it is the other one isn't really read because it's my currently reading. Because I really like Butterfly Club, but then my favourite read, because it says read, not currently reading, is Bad Dad, the one I got for Christmas, because I think that is... <laughs> it's amazing. I think it's amazing. If you've read Bad Dad, tell me if you think it's amazing as well. I still need to read it, don't I? Yes, you do. Okay, question five. Woo! You saw my eyes burst open then. <laughs> Okay, Jess. Jess. Okay, so, what is your reading comfort zone? My reading comfort zone is definitely going so I can easily fall asleep to get out of reading. With uh, this girl. No, I'm joking. It would have to be basically anywhere I can like tuck my feet underneath me and just like curl up, and it has to be warm. Uh, my favorite, my. Comfort zone is also is it's quiet but not too quiet. If it's absolutely so hot, like silence, like dead of night, uh, if it's light and it's absolutely quiet, I can't read. But if it's dead, but like if it's dark, I can. It has, I have to have some noise. Um, my, my comfort zone is somewhere warm and nice, but I can't. I can't <laughs> really. I can't really have music playing on in the background because it distracts me because I start to sing. But I can have a movie. I know I won't get distracted by. That's about it. If it has to be silent, really. Or if nice. I like to. Sometimes that I will read while listening to music because it's late at night and I don't and I don't really want to sing, so I would be able to read. Sing. But well, this is dancing, not singing. <laughs> anyway, next question number six: Can you read on the bus or any other moving vehicles? Um. E no. Yes. Yeah. 
Yes, actually. Um, when I'm in the car, I can't read. But if I'm on like a bus or a train or a coach, can you? I can read, yeah. What about you, Jess? Yes, I can. I can read in the car, as I've done before. I can read on the bus. Um, I can read in any transport, really. But I especially like to read on the bus, because usually when I went on school trips in 5 v I wouldn't sit next to any of my friends because I didn't want to. I would just like to be alone so I could yeah, do... Yeah, our whole, whole so family I, are basically a bunch of loners. So I could then... <laughs> so I could be left to do my own stuff because otherwise all your friends are like, oh, I'll do this for me or I'll do this for me. That's yeah, but I'm like, good because I my group just, of friends love to read just like me, so we're just all reading and I being always, antisocial. Yeah, I always, but we're fine. I always just try and sit by myself, but sometimes someone was placed next to me and it was usually somebody of uh, people everyone hated. Because no one sits next to them, except when they did have that someone sit next to Okay, question. I wonder how I had to sit next to the seven. worst person ever. Question seven. What is your favourite genre, Jessica? All of them. <laughs> all of them. Just all of them. I don't know. Wait, actually, maybe I do. Mm. What? Vampires. It's a fantasy. Oh, I like all of them. I can't decide. <laughs> I. I I like all of them, but then I don't like all of them because there's some books in each in each section that I can I do like, but it's like the same amount, and then there's others I don't like. So it's like equal. Right. They're all equal. So, what about you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my favourite has to be fantasy with romance quite close. Even though I don't read as much romance, I do quite like it. But then I'm trying. Can you please? <laughs> I am trying to get more into like mystery sort of thing because yesterday I bought City of Lies by Alifair Burke. It's basically about someone, be two, a couple of people being murdered. It's just like, oh, nice. No. <laughs> Question eight. Is it my turn? Yes. yes. Wait, I didn't do that one. I read that. No, I said that one. You say that one. A language you would want to read in a book. Why? If I I would probably choose French because I've learnt it the past five years. So when I'm reading it, I can easily like um. What's the word? Easily. I've forgotten the word. But like you think that while I tell them mine. English, because I know it. Easy peasy, and I'd like to read English as it's the easiest thing to read. Ta da! Did you hear my person? Yeah. Mm. I mean, English is what you want, unless you're a child. How can I forget that word? Niha! <laughs> so, yeah, I would choose French because I've learned it for the past five years, um, and when I'm reading it, I can easily translate it into English. Hey! Hey! hey. Love it should have been the picture, our new picture. No, I prefer the one. Yeah. Okay, question nine. Ooh. Jess, what easily distracts you when you're reading? <laughs> uh, let me think. Uh, um, this person singing to music. That's, That's dancing. dancing. <laughs> <laughs> hey, 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 it's girl. She yeah. left too high or left too low. Thinks she's made of candy. Hey, yeah. Okay, your turn. Hey, yeah. Your turn. Um, I would say probably loud films. Like if I'm in the room and a film is playing and it's quite loud and I've not seen it before, seen it many times before, that would definitely distract me. Last but not least, question 10. What would cause you to stop reading a book halfway through? School. No. Yeah. Let me think I'm for a second. Stop I will, as we speak in this time, I'm always reading in the library and eating in the library. Um, and we're just forced to stop reading and go to lessons. Rude! You're breaking my heart. I can just feel it slowly tearing into You're pieces. You're boring me. I'm going to die. Knife! Uh, what could cause you to stop a book halfway through? Let me think. Uh, you dropped the camera. Yes, I know I did. I dropped you guys. Um, so what can easily distract me is school and this person. This person can just come and say something to me and it distracts me so I don't want to read any longer. So... Uh... <laughs>
<laughs> Chubby Chip. Are you trying to lick me? Oh, for all those mums out there, happy Mother's Day. Always. Hey, happy Mother's Day. If I get any new books for my birthday, I'll definitely show you guys. Like, yeah, definitely. It'll be like a, it'll be a birthday book haul, num J1 sort of thing. That! Feed me, oh, then. No, no. no, feed me, you got your own. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> she failed. Okay, so that is us. Thank you for joining us. Like this video. If you have read Obsidian, wait one sec, one sec. I'm not gonna distract me. Oh, Stop you're reading ha halfway through a book. What? No, it's something else. You stopped me doing the 24 hour readathon to record this video. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, like this video if you've read Obsidian and you like it. Okay, we'll see you next time then. I'm going to go back to reading for the yeah, 24 hour reading. reading. Bye. Still got our drinks. Bye guys. And don't forget to say. Oh my gosh. I can't do this. One second. Kiss again.